Hey everyone, welcome back to the b Movie Bunker. Today we are going back to 2010 and looking at Kill Katie Malone, uh, brought to us by uh, Carlos Ramos Jr. This is uh, yet another teen, teen-ish, college age, whatever, uh, horror movie. This one involves a ghost box. It's, uh, I don't know, basically a stupid idiot buys uh, this possessed box off of basically an eBay type clone. Uh, and, you know, as like a joke, but spends like way too much money on something that's really just kind of a stupid joke. And, of course, then, of course, it has a real ghost in it, and people start dying. All right. Um, I don't know. For starters, this kind of reminds me there was this possessed teddy bear that was on, on eBay a while back that, you know, apparently, you know, killed animals and whatnot and was constantly showing them in the house and they trying to get rid of it. I don't understand the... Why anyone would ever bid on something like this you know, to the point where it's it's like lots of money, because one of two things: one, you're just bidding on some stupid little box that has nothing in it, and you just wasted a bunch of money on some dumb fucking box because someone said, "Hey, this is possessed," or two, it's really possessed by a demon or a demonic spirit or ghost, and you just bought that to bring into your house. Why? It's this movie's nothing really new. It's just yet another way to kill off attractive coeds, which. Overall, I don't have a huge problem with, but that's part of the problem is that I don't have a problem with it. It's like, oh great, all the pretty people are dying. All the pretty popular kids are the ones who are getting killed. This bothers me how. And and that's kind of how I felt about this movie. It just, it's just yet another in a, in a long line of the same thing over and over again with a lot of these movies. It didn't bring anything original. It really wasn't fun. It really wasn't even all that creative with the way it killed people. It's just spooky girl ghost kills people great. That's like we haven't had enough of those already. So a scale of 1 to 10, I'm keeping this one really short. Scale of 1 to 10, this is kind of like going to your high school 10 year reunion and seeing all the popular kids there. Where you're like, you know, I didn't fucking care for you back in high school, I don't fucking care for you now. And that's kind of how I feel about this movie. It's, it's, it's something that I saw 10 years ago. And I wasn't wowed by it then, I'm not wowed by it now. That's all I, all I really got for this one. It wasn't it was nothing spectacular. I'm not saying it was terrible. It was just nothing spectacular. It was just kind of blah, run-of-the-mill, average, attractive kids die. Super. Let them all die. Whatever. That's all I got for this one. Until next time, you all stay safe out there in the wasteland.